Welcome to day eight of my 25 days of Craftmas series. Today, I'm going to show you how to use infusible ink markers and a Cricut mug press to make this adorable Christmas mug. Not only is this mug super cute, but it's also dishwasher and microwave safe. Now let's go take a look at the supply list and get started. For this project, you'll need a sublimation mug, infusible ink markers, laser printer paper, a Cricut mug press, butcher paper, heat resistant tape, and of course, your Cricut, a light grip cutting mat, and the cut file. So grab your supplies and head over to your computer. The first thing we need to do is grab the SVG file we'll be using for this project. You can get it for free on my blog at burtonavenue.com. I keep all the SVG files for the projects I make and share in my free SVG library. These files will work with all kinds of cutting machines and they're free to everyone. Once you're on my site, just go to free SVG files and then free SVG library. You will need a password to get into the library and there are instructions on the screen if you need to get one. For this project, we're gonna be using the cut file called Hand Drawn Ornaments, BA2108. To find it, just use your browser search and type in 2108. Once you've found the file, go ahead and click on that link and the files will be downloaded onto your computer. So I'm gonna show you how to set up and cut this design in Cricut Design Space. So the first thing we're gonna do is go up to Projects and then go to the search and type in Mug. And then you're gonna scroll down until you see the Mug Design Setup. Select that and choose Customize, and then that template will appear on your Canvas screen. Now I'm gonna select this template and right click and choose Detach, and then I'm just gonna delete this turquoise part and also these three little mugs up here. The next thing I'm gonna do is import my design onto the Canvas screen. If you're not sure how to unzip and import your designs into Cricut Design Space, be sure to check out my step-by-step -step tutorial. So this is what the design will look like when you first import it onto the canvas screen. The first thing we're gonna do is go up to the operation box, click on that little down arrow and select pen. And that will just convert our design from a cut file to drawing with a marker or pen. The next thing that we're gonna do is change the color of all these ornaments so we can draw them in different colors with our markers. But you'll notice right now that everything is grouped together and I can't select just an individual ornament and change the color. To fix that, you'll just right click and choose ungroup and that will break apart the design so you can select different ornaments and change the color. So now I'm just gonna select each ornament and go up and change the color to either red or green. As you're changing the colors, make sure that all the reds are set to the same shade of red and all the greens are set to the same shade of green. And I'm gonna leave all the star shapes black. And now that everything is colored how we want, you can select the entire design and right click and choose attach. And that will just lock everything back together. And now I'm just gonna drag it up here and resize it until it looks good on that template. When I'm happy with the size, I'm gonna select both the design and the template and go up to Align, and first I'm gonna choose Center horizontally, and then I'm gonna click Align and choose Align Top. And that will just make the top of this design equal with the top of the template. The last thing we're gonna do is right click and choose Attach, and that will lock the template and the design together. And that is the last thing that we need to do on this Canvas screen, so now we can click on the green Make It button and then you'll be taken to this screen. And this is just gonna show us what our design will look like on our cutting mat. And you'll see over here that there's two different operations that are gonna happen. We have the pen tools that are going to draw our design, and then the basic cut is going to cut out this template shape. If everything looks good, you can click on the green continue button. Once Design Space finds your Cricut, you'll be taken to this screen. So you're gonna to wanna to set your dial to paper, and then this next step is just gonna show you which tools go in which clamp. So now we can go over and load up our mat. Place a piece of paper on a light grip cutting mat. 
you want to make sure that the longest edge goes from left to right. Then you can load it into your Cricut by pressing the up and down arrow button. Load a green marker into clamp A and make sure that your knife blade is in clamp B. When your Cricut is ready to go, you'll see the C button light up. Press that and the machine will begin drawing. Once it's finished drawing the green part of the design, you can remove the green marker and put in the next color. When all parts of the design have been drawn, your Cricut will go back and cut out the template. Once this has been cut, you can press the up and down arrow button again to unload your mat. To remove the design, you'll want to slightly bend the cutting mat and carefully pull off the paper. Start by cleaning your mug with a lint roller or cloth. Place the mug upside down on your work surface and then wrap the design around it. The ink should be facing the mug. Match the straight edge of the paper up with the top of the mug. Tape it in place with heat resistant tape. Make sure you don't place any of the design under the handle. Use several pieces of tape around the top and bottom to secure your design in place. I tried to place the tape on areas of the paper where there wasn't any part of the design. Next, wrap the mug in three layers of white butcher paper. Secure that in place just like you did the design. This step is super important when using the infusible ink markers. If you don't, the markers could bleed and stain the inside of your mug press. This could possibly ruin future projects. When everything is taped in place and your mug press is hot, you can place the mug inside of it. Close the lever and wait until the machine beeps, which could take about five to eight minutes. Once the machine beeps, you can remove the mug by opening the lever and lifting the mug out by the handle. The mug will be super hot when you take it out, but the handle should be cool. Place the mug on a heat resistant surface and let it cool 15 to 20 minutes before you touch it. Once the mug has cooled down, you can take off all the layers of paper and your mug is finished. If you enjoyed this project and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you'll get notified each time I post something new.